Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Mitty Olby, your PBI instructor. All right, so here's some items that I highly recommend that you should have in your pool cue case. Uh, we'll go through them briefly one by one, and then on some of them I'll actually show you, um, you know, a little bit more detail. Here's a great bridge. It's just an inexpensive moose bridge. All right, it is slipped right on the tip of any pull cue. So I'll show as an example. All right, so I could just slide it right there. And now I instantly have a nice solid bridge. Um, it's very smooth on the inside, so you don't have to worry about scratching the shaft. All right, that's my biggest thing that um, I try to let people know. A lot of times you go to pool hall, they'll have the metal bridges, you know, to be underneath the table. And be careful of the ridges inside here, because that will scratch the shaft. So for, you know, a few dollar investment, it's great to have super light, portable, right in your case, all right? Next would be any type of chalk holder. So this one I like because if you unscrew that, then you have the pins there, you can aerate your tip of your cue. It's a nice little feature. Again, you know, inexpensive items, but now you're carrying your chalk. Obviously, you put that in your front of your back pocket. And like I said, it has that little extra feature there. So here's another um, variation. This one's a magnetic chalk holder. So you could take your chalk. They actually sell these wraps that you could put on any piece of chalk, and it becomes magnetic, and it will stick right to that. Um, you know, my preference is this style. The magnetic ones, some people love them. Um, again, not my personal favorite. Obviously chalk, have a good quality chalk. It will reduce the amount of miscues. Um, and again, it's crucial. You're gonna get, you know, good chalk. You're gonna get more friction between the Q-tip and the cue ball itself, which will in turn give you um, better performance. So again, a good quality chalk. Here's a nice item. This is another tip tool. This one breaks down. This one's very traditional. It's called a bow tie. All right, so this side you use, you can scuff it. The tip itself, here's a nickel radius. So you could put the tip there, rotate, help shape the tip, and then you unscrew it and it has the aerator as well. So again, you have to maintain the tip on your pull cue, all right? A lot of people just go ahead and have a tip put on and they totally forget about it. You must maintain the tip to keep the proper radius. Um, it helps to, um, when you scuff it, it helps the chalk to adhere to the leather tip, all right? Joint protectors, you must have, all right? Th this, I would say, is a total, total necessity. Um, you invest some money in a pool cue, next thing you know, you drop it, you know, as you're taking it out of case or something, and you ding the pin on your pool cue itself. Now, you're going to be in a major, major expense, something you could so easily avoid by spending $10, $20 and buying some joint protectors. All right, you probably already have them, but if you don't, please buy them. Here's another tool. It's just a cube, and one side's a nickel radius and one side's a dime radius, all right? It has a little slot. You could put a little keychain through there. So that's real nice. What else do we go through? Oh, okay. Um, pool cue holder, all right? Goes up on, you know, the edge of the pool table, on the rail, something like that, or on the edge of, you know, any table. Holds your cues there. Again, you invest a lot of money in the cue. You don't want to just lean it up against the wall. It's not secure. This is very, very secure. I've never, all the years I've been using cue claw, never had a problem with dropping a cue. Here's another great tool. All right, a lot of people don't realize. Let me try to demonstrate a little bit. So what I want to do is have a decent terry claw towel, soft as possible, and go ahead every so often and wipe down the shaft 
of the Q. You're going to get all the oils off. Right? That's crucial to, to help maintain, preserve you know, the, the quality of the shaft and the slickness. Then you have these little um, slickers. And you just slide the shaft in there. And then you just rub gently up and down. And it totally smooths out the shaft again. Makes it really slick. Again, very inexpensive item. Um, one of probably most overlooked items that people don't realize what it's used for. So again, um, here's another great joint protector. All right, this one happens to be 516 by 18, very common. I have, I don't know if you can see it there, I have the pins to aerate. All right, this side's my nickel radius scuffer. But what's great about this, these are actual joint protectors. This is made out of all aluminum, works out great. So now you have a two in one. So basically, it's like having joint protectors and the bow tie tool in one. Great concept, highly recommend it. Um, all these items available on my website, learnbillions.com. I'll leave a link below. And if you have any questions or comments, here's another item. I almost forgot about this. is just a simple sander. has a nickel radius on it. So let's say the tip starts mushrooming. You could go ahead, let's say this was the tip. Take that, go around it. And again, it helps, you know, maintain the shape. So again, a few dollar investment, going to keep the shape and the quality of your tip in, in peak performance.